Marsha Kramer still here with me and an interesting thing when I was speaking uh, to Cheryl Bader, a professor and a, a former assistant attorney in the District of New Jersey about the process with uh, the former president, the surrender, doors, um, handcuffs, you know, white collar crimes, the way treat people, some, yeah. I mean, as part of the the uh, negotiations that have been gone on, going on with all the various law enforcement uh, people, including the Secret Service, he is going to be brought in by the back. But the thing that they're worried about is after he's brought in through the back and he goes before a judge who has the ability to unseal the indictment, the question is, what does he do after that? Mm -hmm. And the worry, and that's why they have all these extra police um, assigned there, is that he's going to walk out the front door and want to hold a press conference. And that is a concern, and the concern also is if there are supporters out there, what's going to happen then if he holds a press conference? I mean, he could, couldn't he? Well, the thing is, you know, he's running for president, and he thinks this will help him. And in fact, it did help him in the polls after this whole story broke. So we're waiting to see what he's going to decide to do. You know, he's a guy that likes the spotlight. So it's entirely possible that after they bring him in the back, he's going to walk out the front and say, I'm innocent, or whatever he chooses to say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we know this uh, process has quite a long way to go. And uh, again, uh, we have not heard, as Alice said, the former president who uses Truth Social has not said anything. Uh, I expect that soon. Well, or his lawyers may say that's probably not a good idea. You should keep quiet until we go to court. <laughs> All that and more. Right. Thank you very much. Again, a historic evening with this news. A Manhattan grand jury has voted to invite, indict former President Donald Trump on criminal charges involving payments allegedly made during the 2016 presidential campaign to adult film star Stormy Daniels, a live look at Mar-a-Lago. Uh, this is a, this time, we'll have more on our streaming channel.